And um, thanks to Neely for sharing her experience there. Um, guess who's following that? Uh, Elizabeth is here with the weather. What would your superhero be? I don't know, Riz. Weather, la weather ladies, is that? Yeah, I'd be a villain. No, you wouldn't be a villain. Well, you can decide I... if I'm going to be a hero or villain <laughs> right, after the villain. forecast. What maybe. about the weather? Uh, well, it was lovely today, wasn't it? At times, I mean, there were a few showers around, but some lovely autumn colours out there. Love this one uh, from Sophia in uh, Kew. But here are those really threatening storm clouds uh, as captured at the Royal Naval College, actually, in Greenwich. Lovely picture of that. And again, from Stoke Newington. So quite a few rainbows around. I haven't got any of those, but uh, there won't be too many rainbows, I don't think, as we head through the rest of this week. It's just not going to rain. It's looking dry or mostly dry. Might just be a few spots of drizzle. It certainly is looking rather cloudy. There won't be too much in the way of sunshine. And the air is going to be turning a little milder, too very mild again for this time of year. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, it would be a little bit like that. Now, earlier on today, this is the radar. You can see those showers blowing through quite nicely on that fairly brisk, noticeable southwesterly wind. That's also set to pick up over the next couple of days days or so but the showers will fade away largely overnight tonight to leave us with a dry night and it's actually going to feel quite chilly as well I think some of the temperatures in the rural spots will get down as low as six or seven degrees Celsius so a bit lower than this uh, for some of us tomorrow morning so tomorrow then some early brightness that will last longest out towards eastern areas but then we've got all of this cloud just thickening from the west maybe a few spots of drizzle just from the thickness of the cloud but otherwise dry and turning really quite blustery as well look at the temperatures we've got a warm front going off to the north and the west of us that's a the real rain will be highs of 17 degrees Celsius and then as we look at Wednesday well it could feel even warmer still I think there will be some brighter spells here and there but always plenty of cloud and it's going to turn really quite windy as well 18 possibly even 19 degrees so here are all the weather fronts we're not really going to see any significant rain I don't think until we get to Friday and that's the cold front that's going to be affecting us then so after Friday a bit of a drop in temperature as we head towards the weekend and there could be some wet weather at times Riz. thanks elizabeth i'm still thinking <laughs> a reminder now of uh, the main headline today the chancellor is expected to announce an increase in the national living wage from eight pounds 91 to nine pounds 50 an hour in this his budget on wednesday labor say much of that increase will be swallowed up by tax rises and cuts to universal credit and that is where we leave you. By the way, don't get caught out. More on today's ULES expansion and what you need to know on our website and our Facebook. From me and all the team here, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.